still very tender. So we just pulled up at a little campsite called Matheson's Bore. It's uh, just over 100 k's north of Cooper Pedy. So we left um, Curtis Springs Station near Ayers Rock, Uluru this morning. Done 500 odd k's, bit of a big day driving. Car was magnificent as usual, flying along, good old GB. Caravan towed well. We literally, we've been here for oh, less than 10 minutes. Yeah, perfectly level. Dropped some legs, lit the fire, making some drinks. Gonna cook some steak on the, on the barbecue tonight. Oh, there's some cleaning. Oh, just everything's so dusty. It's tell me, tell me about the... those tables. Funnily enough, these tables are uh, bloody stable. Oh, stable. Oh, very good. So, uh, we did a bit of a roadside stop on the way and filled up the dirty bags full of wood. So, we've got plenty of wood for the night. Probably tomorrow night. So that's it for tonight. We might take a photo later when the sun goes down. Oh, this spot, by the way, is just acres and acres of places where you could stop. It's a big circuit which goes all the way up to the railway line. In fact, you, you could park on the railway line, which would be quite noisy if the old garn comes through or freight train later. But I think we're probably about halfway, aren't we? Between front and back. Maybe slightly forward. Maybe slightly forward. Anyway, it's going to be a nice night. Going to relax and have a couple of drinks, I think. Hey, Vic. I'm sorry? <laughs> well, it is the wine lap, so we have to... Yeah. My problem is I only have a little bit of Jack Daniels left, so I've gone on to the lady drinks. We've got some gin to Oh, that. hang on. There's my ice blocks, woman. There's ice in there already, buddy. Yeah, anyway, we've got plenty of water. Actually, this is an interesting note. We, our water supply, we filled up in Alice Springs, and we've done... Four nights, didn't we? We did two nights at um, uh, Kings Canyon Station and two nights at Curtis Springs. We're still in our first tank of water, so we haven't used much. That's why. Very dirty. Uh, Vicky's a bit smelling. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, she's not. No, we've showered every night, but we've just been frugal. So we've got plenty of food, plenty of water, plenty of gas, plenty of firewood, and plenty of kilometres to travel. And that's sun. And the sun. Enter sunset. Happy camper. Because mm -hmm. mm. it's cold. In fact, we just had a discussion about put this back on. How calm and serene this whole thing is. Like one camper over yonder, one tucked behind the trees. Otherwise it's just the fire and us, eh? Mm. Beautiful. We were talking about how you describe this this feeling we have, which is so we started this with fires three months earlier, mm. and we're enjoying it just as much now as we did then. Yep. And it's it's calm, it's serene. Mm. It's so warm, peaceful. Warm. It's peaceful. It's not stressful mm. at all. And you could just be doing this at the, any roadside camp near home, probably. Yeah. Oh, it's had the cold and there's not as much red dirt around home. True. And the sunsets wouldn't be loads. No. Anyway, beautiful night. Mm. Yeah. That's a fire bit. Okay. Jeep Grand Cherokee. <laughs> Salute Saver. VEA. Oh. Chips. I'm not sure where they're from. Oh, natural thing. Um, natural chip company. Or oh, something. they're cheapies, but they are. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a lovely cold morning this morning at uh, Mona Lena Lagoon Rest Area, about 100 k south of Woomera, where we couldn't get in the caravan park, so we stopped here. Uh, had a lovely little fire last night, cooked a lovely sausages and mash, and had a nice dinner. It's um, a balmy two degrees, so got out the generator for only the second time for the holiday. Ticking away, got the heater going. Nice and quiet. A few other people in here. The train line is just here. I just saw a, a goods train with three locomotives and about 200 carriages go past. So luckily they didn't go there through during the night. A few trucks, but not too bad. And of course, that, we have this. Oh, don't take a photo of me in bed <laughs> whilst I'm on the phone to Shelley. With your 
With my head blanket. Head blankets. Head blanket and um, my cup of tea. Yes. And I'm getting warm and yes. the heat is on. And heat is on. And you've been hunting in the bathroom. <laughs> oh dear. So we've come full circle, completed our lap, and we're back at Renmark, which we started our. Was this about a week into our first yeah. trip? Yeah. yeah so we thought it was um, fitting that we parked in the same spot on the river here. Which is magnificent. And tonight we're going to get the camp oven out, or in fact today, lit a fire. And we're going to do a slow cooked beef, chicken, vegetables, I don't know, call it stew, casserole, crock pot, and slow cooker. So Vico's cutting up some stuff in the kitchen. I know. Actually in the kitchen. Yeah, so we're going to have beef, chicken, some onions, celery, carrots, potatoes, herbs and spices. All that shit. Yeah. So we'll go in there, we'll see that and uh, start cooking. So, first of all, we're going to brown the meat. <clears throat> yeah, a little bit of char on it, get some seasoning. Mm. Yeah, get the fire going. And then, oh, more people turning up. Must yeah. be in the smell of the food. Woohoo, it's such a great place. Great work. Onions. Onions. The sun's coming out. Beef on the barbie. Onions. Oh, that's flavour. Might fall in there. Celery. Now we just need some seasoning. Mmm. So we split them down. Season up, and then we'll uh, add some red wine. Now, what's the deal? What? Is it, is it what one red wine? Not is my it, red wine. It's one for the pot, one for the chef, isn't it? I don't think we've got enough, mate. <laughs> I don't think we've got enough. Some salt and pepper and some. Oh. Yeah, chuck it in the end. Any flavour is good flavour. Okay, next step, we'll add some red wine. About a cup of red wine. Let that glaze in the pan. <clears throat> For chef. Mm. And more for chef. Mm. 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 The tomatoes. More veg. And a bit of stock. Mm. That's all down. Is the wine in there yet? No, I uh, uh, need some more. That all gone now. Well, where's mine? Well, some it fell out. It was more than a cup in that. Was it? I didn't notice. Green, green. Green. We'll have some peas later, mate. Yeah, peas and oh, no, but still potatoes in the ready. Okay. All right, let's put the lid on. Oh, chunky lid. All right. All right, start to bring out the boil and probably move it away from the fire a little bit. Because mm -hmm. we still need the fire. Still need the fire. And then um, we'll let it bubble away for, well, it's only 2.30, so if that cook for hours, the longer the better. Yes. And what are we going to do while we're waiting for it to cook? Look at the fire. I don't know. What? No, not drinking. It's too early. You're not. <laughs> oh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> You've already... <laughs> I just had a uh, chef's treat. Mm. It doesn't count. It's mine. I'm helping. Anyway, people turn up at 2.30. Probably smell the food, Vic. Oh, no doubt. Anyway, it's a cracking. Yeah. Renmark. Mark 2, we'll call this. Mark 2, end of... So, Plush's Bend, beautiful spot. I think this is the most nice when we were here three months ago. Yeah, definitely. Parked in the same spot. But, what we didn't do last time, which we're doing now, is... This. <laughs> oh, yes. How good that look? 
Delicious. Delicious. Mm. It's going to be dinner tonight. It's dinner tonight. And possibly longer. Possibly, possibly breakfast. Oh, well, actually, mm. that's quite a lot of food in there. That will be two nights dinner. Yeah. So we're back in our home state of Victoria, across the border today after a lovely stop at um, Redmark, Clusters Bend, mm. and now same river, still in the Murray, but this is uh, Psyche Pumps near King's Billabong in Mildura. Nice spot, free camp, no facilities, nope. but we have this in my hand. We have this. And? And? That. And a little, little bit of sun just poking down the air. Yeah, so I got a rod in, caught a few carp. Actually, that last one was quite big. It's quite a large plant. We need to catch up on the bookwork. Yep. Tell us how much we spent. And what we've done. Yeah, what we've done. Where we've been. A little fire. There's a three little vans tucked up in there. Sitting in the river. A couple of houseboats cruising past. It's just a lovely spot. Oh, oh. <clears throat> a bit of a boneless chicken roast. I don't know how those boneless chickens stand up with any bones. Got the Jenny going, got the heater going, got the fire going. We're using every appliance we've got tonight. Webber Q, parking away, Vicky A in the kitchen. Yeah, actually, I've got a problem. Yeah? I'm in the kitchen too often. Luckily, we're about to get home. Oh, and get back to doing. Not kitchen. Not kitchen. Cheers. <laughs> You're gonna miss that. Anyway, fire's going, chicken's on. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering about how, how those boneless chickens stand up. You know. Badly. Badly? Badly. So, we don't normally run the generator at night, but next door's got theirs on, so we figure, hey, why not? We'll heat up, make it nice and warm while we eat, and then turn it off, shut it down, put it back on it. 7 o'clock in the morning. The fire is bubbling away nicely. Care of uh, roadside wood on the way here. Uh, and the river is, I'm sure you can see, the river is beautiful. Still clear. It wasn't a bad sunset, nice and orange. And that's us, parked up for the night. Looks good, gonna enjoy dinner. And a rosé. That's camping, that's camping, Vigo. Right, so here is the end result of the boneless chicken. Looks fantastic all! It's gone for just about an hour. Veggies look good. Just got a tray. Oh. Put all the good stuff on there. I have had a few uh, few chef treats. So it's slightly less than when we started, but that's all fine. This is pretty good one-handed. Mmm, good old Weber Q. Come through the goods again. Well, have a look this for a great little spot. We are at uh, Bridgewater, at the Bridgewater Carrion Park. There's a uh, dumping thingos and the pool and all the amenities. Beautiful grassed area, right on the river. Sunlight of the fire here. We are just having the argument about whether we're going to have Agama Hole or hmm? or a cover. And it looks like our newly bought Fossies Gin has won the argument. It's only because the sun's going to go down. It's going to be a nice sunset. And that's the only reason. Well, plus our alcoholism. And it's worth the time, mate. The time. That's right. So Bridgewater. So it's uh, well, two thirds away home from Mildura, yep. and uh, we'll wander home tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're just going to light a little fire. So you can't have your own fire pit, but they supply these for ten dollars, and we stacked up with plenty of wood on our way home. So we're 
we're full of wood. So we're in the powered section. The unpowered section is down here along the riverbank, which is actually quite nice. And there's a nice little uh, rotunda down there on the river where we might sit and have a look. Anyway, Bridgewater Caravan Park. We've driven past it maybe 30 or 40 times and never come in here, but it's a real nice little spot. So, home tomorrow. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Glenn, help me! You're laughing at me, help me! It's attacking me! It's not attacking you. It's going to. It's following you. That's my food. Where did my husband? Look at that. Get out of that! <laughs> Oi! What are you doing? Get Get off! Off! Go on, naughty possum. 